additive manufacturing has been around since the 1980s and primarily has been used in the prototype and uh, design industry, uh, allowing designers to kind of hone in their, their development and work through the research of their products. Uh, today, we, we're just now seeing it starting to be introduced into the manufacturing industry and we're really in the infancy of what it can do. Sky is kind of the limit. Additive manufacturing continues to evolve in the technical ability of the equipment as well as the materials. So there are a lot of cases where the speed of the equipment is continuing to get faster. Uh, the properties and the material strengths of the end product materials are continue to improve. And as the materials continue to improve, it can be used for more and more applications, uh, structural applications, applications now where the strength of the product may not be quite up to par to use for, say, an automotive interior components. So as that evolves, it'll be used for more and more type applications. I think today additive manufacturing is just starting to be widely accepted. In the, uh, in the manufacturing world. Uh, I think that uh, technology is the driver here. How quickly can they improve technologies to the point where you can increase the volume of product that you can get out the door and also make it easier to use? Uh, as those things evolve, I think in the not too distant future, you're going to see a lot more products come out of additive manufacturing. I think already products that are primarily plastics based are being uh, produced uh, more so than they were just a few years ago. But again, it comes down to volume. How quickly can you get large numbers of these parts out the door? So as that technology evolves, I think within the next decade, you're really going to see additive become much more important to the overall manufacturing world. If someone's interested in a career in 3D printing, uh, we typically are looking for a very technical person. So the computer skills, um, you know, all of our processes are computer controlled nowadays. So the computer skills, um, what I call an engineering mentality, uh, problem solving, somebody that's really looking to, uh, that technical person that's looking to figure out a better way to do things. And also what we call kind of a maker mentality. Somebody that likes to make things, they like to tinker with things really works out well. Um, CAD experience is extremely important. All, the, all of the 3D printing processes are based on some level of computer model. Um, so the ability to help design, even manipulate and change those models is extremely important for our industry. Uh, as well as the uh, education aspect. So the, um, the more experience somebody comes in with in the, again, technical ability to run the equipment, understand how the machines and the computer systems work. Uh, laser experience can also be very important in certain applications, uh, working with the equipment, so all of it blends together to, uh, to make a very good career. A person interested in uh, 3D printing as a career added manufacturing should look into uh, taking some courses in uh, material sciences, and part modeling. Uh, those two things are very critical when building a 3D part, printed part, uh, knowing what material is right for what application, and then being able to model that part up and design it. Uh, each additive machine requires a 3D model of the part, and being able to design or draw and or manipulate that file is uh, key to the manufacturing process. I think what's important is to understand that we're in a period where integration is really what it's all about. How do we take what we know how to do very well now in subtractive manufacturing and integrate the additive manufacturing process into that? So what that means is that you can't really think in terms of just additive. You have to be thinking in terms of the entire manufacturing process from inception to completion, from the raw material through all the processes it takes to make this part as efficiently as possible and get it delivered to the customer. So if I was gonna prepare for a career in additive manufacturing, I'd wanna have a good general knowledge of all manufacturing technologies and how it's all being tied together through the Internet of Things and other uh, new technologies that are coming along. 
I'm excited about uh, additive manufacturing and what it can do for our industry. Um, it allows designers to design new parts and new ways and really opens the box for them uh, to do new and exciting things that traditionally we get shied away from because of the manufacturing complexities. Another thing that it does is I think it sparks an interest with uh, young people today and gets them uh, looking at manufacturing and puts a new perspective on the industry. The additive manufacturing industry is a great career choice for uh, young, upcoming, especially technical people. Um, it could be a very lucrative career, and it's also uh, quite a bit of fun to work with the latest and greatest technologies, uh, always staying at the forefront of that technological advance. Uh, so it, it, a wonderful career choice for people. I think it's impossible to be in the manufacturing world and not see additive as an incredibly important technology. That's still evolving. Uh, for the future, I think it will just become more and more important. They say we're in uh, Industry 4.0 right now, meaning that we've gone through three industrial revolutions and we're now into the fourth. And the fourth industrial revolution, if you will, is really all about combining the different technologies that have evolved over the other three industrial revolutions. So you're, you're now in a point where things like communication between equipment, again, the industrial internet of things, and the refinement of technologies and the development of new technologies are all gonna drive the future. And certainly additive is a very important part of that.